Okay, now we're going to talk about Reno stone. So there is different types of Reno stone. There is calcium stones, and there is magnesium stones, or uric stone, ure, urea stone, NH3. And there is a different types called uric acid stone. And there is another one called cysteine stone. Yeah, now we're going to talk about each one of them. So now we're going to talk about calcium stone. So the calcium stone causes causes are either patients who have poisoning of ethylene glycol or vitamin C abuse or hypocitrate urea or malabsorption. This is very important, malabsorption, like Crohn disease. Okay, those are the causes. So let's let's add a picture to it. Crohn. Okay. Let's add a picture to this so that you remember. Okay. Or so, what do you find on on uh, red common common urinalysis features? You have dumb bell appearance, dumb bell, and you will find a radio opaque on X-ray. Okay, so this is the flu virus. So let's have the picture of dumb bell here. See this is this is calcium stone. Okay. So how do we treat it? Treatment. Treatment we give thiazide, hydration, drink a lot of fluid, or citrate too. Okay? So those are the treatment. How about magnesium stone? What are the causes of magnesium stone? Do you know? Infection by urease positive organisms that convert urea to NH3, which make the NH3 attaches to magnesium, which cause NH3 ammonium magnesium stone, NH3 Mg stone. That's okay, an alkaline urine. Okay, so what do you? What is the main features for this magnesium stone? You will have something called stag horn colliculi, or you can have something called coffin lid appearance, and it's radio opaque too on on X-ray. Let's see the coffin lid appearance. Looks like something scary. So this is the coffin lid appearance. So the picture of the coffin. Or so this is the infection. I forgot to mention the types of infection. Do you know what infections? There is three bacteria that I want you to remember: Proteus, Mirabilis, Serratia, or Klebsiella. Okay. Staghorn calculus. This whenever I, I, I hear Proteus mirabilis, I think of Staghorn calculus. Okay. This is the magnesium stone. Okay. So let's go to treatment. How do we treat it? 
imagine this stone this big how do you treat it you get it out surgery or treat the infection treat the infection too treat the infection for sure because because it's caused by infection right? when do you get steroids when autoimmune disease this is not an autoimmune disease okay okay this is an alkaline that's the most important okay now let's go to uric acid stone this is the fun part so uric acid stone let's see a picture of it first how does it look like you see this is how it looks like this is the uric acid stone so this has a picture of it. oh my god yeah so how do how do we how do we how do you treat it on ct and ultrasound okay you will find it this is what i want you to remember it's called rhomboid or rosette let's see a picture of that so that we don't forget i believe in pictures you see this is the way it's present this is rhomboid or rosette this is uric acid stone okay so how does uh, associated with what diseases that cause associated with gout and leukemia okay so let's let's google leukemia how does it look like and I got in picture so this is the leukemia it's basically tumor tumor of the blood I can add more picture here Okay, it's something dangerous. Or I can I can add pictures of gout, too. This is gout. They have their feet like this, and then they have renal uric acid stone. So how do we treat it? How do we treat this stone? We treat it with something is called allopurinol or alkalinization of urine. Okay. So let's see a drug. This is allopurinol. How does allopurinol work? So allopurinol inhibits exactly oxidase. Okay, which metabolizes. Uh, so that's with a law the elimination of uric acid okay so that's the main uric acid stone that's the main thing that i want you to, to remember and never forget so now let's tackle cysteine stone so let's just google the name of cysteine stone yeah so this is this is how it looks like so this cysteine stone the one i want you to remember it's it's autosomal Recessive. This is genetic. Like a proximal convoluted tubule can't absorb cysteine. That's and the, the way the way it's present on the urine is called hexagonal. Let me show. It's hexagonal. That's why always medical students they call it hexstein. Hexstein stone. Okay. Okay, so let's see hexagonal cysteine stone. You see? Yeah, this is like this. Okay. Good. So this is the hexagonal cysteine stone. Now let's see the what where it happened. It happened in children. That's the main thing. And uh, associated with sixteen uh, histine urea. How do we treat it? Because when we alkalinize the urine, the cysteine will melt. So treat by alkalinization. Alkalinization of urine. Yeah, yeah. So this one uh, treatment is alkalinization of urine to treat with cysteine stone. Okay. So how do you do alkali? Hmm. Sample of alkalinization of the urine, okay? So this is cysteine stone, okay? You got it? So this, before that, how does renal stone, so all of them, how do they present? Just to summarize, now we knew the difference of stone. How do they present? They present with unilateral, this is very specific, unilateral 
flank tenderness okay this is one thing another thing flank pain they present it like this flank pain colicky pain pain at the groin radiate to the groin start colicky pain start at the back and radiate to the groin so this is very specific okay plus hematuria okay and uh, sometimes can cause hydronephrosis or can cause even pyelonephritis which is super stone super infection they call super infection of the kidney with a stone this is called super infection okay so let's do renal stone okay so this is it. so let's so now we'll wrap it up as a summary so patient present with colicky pain radiating to the groin flank cva tenderness hematuria okay and plus yeah plus radio, you did an x-ray you found radio opaque stone on the x-ray what's most common what type Yuric of acid huh no most common calcium stone this is the way okay patient present with leukemia and leukemia and present with flank pain what type of stone is that you did your analysis you found rhomboid or rosette uric. good job uric acid stone patient present with in, in, in uh, present with fever and flank pain groin pain radiation to the groin and you will find coffin lid appearance and on x-ray you find radi radio opaque what is that what type of stone is that magnesium excellent magnesium and there is one this child who present with a cysteine oh, sorry present with a stone you found it on urine hexagonal shape what is that cysteine stone because cysteine it's stone. excellent good job so this is the nutshell summary of the renal stones okay thank you very much see you next time next